Welcome back to Northern Lights Disc Golf. I'm Brian Lagergren. And I'm Bart Peterson. And then today we have final round coverage, back nine, Eagles Peak, the Lake Superior Open, MPO lead card. This will be the conclusion of our tournament here today, and they're starting off on temp hole A, 250 feet uphill. You got that OB on the left side. Noah's just trying to get this back in, in there nicely, and he'll have a putt. Alex challenging the OB with a little forehand, and he he's going to have a, a tester. Safe. Yeah. Kale, he's got a lot of control over his shots, and we'll see if he can nestle this one close to the basket. 250 feet should be in all these guys' range. Yeah, they could probably get up and down left-handed here, you'd think. <laughs> <laughs> um, these guys are all pros, so they got a lot of... A lot of talent, is what I'm trying to say. Looks like Gavin, on the other hand, though. He played it well. It looked like it wanted to get out on that left side, but he'll be just fine. I thought, I thought Alex was furthest out. I'm not sure if we missed his... Yeah. Noah hit the front of the cage. Uh, Just a little, like, oh, there's Alex. Okay. Looks like Alex probably was equally as far, far away. He was um, a little further up the hill. Let's see if he can convert for his two. Uh, if he really zings it long, he could go OB. But He's been making those all day. <laughs> he made that one. Uh, no need to be concerned about OB. Alex is charging now. Getting chains. Gavin got his two. And it looks like Kale is real close. No, leaving with the only par, uh, moving on to Temple B. This is 165 feet, but don't let the distance fool you. It is way uphill. Um, the shot you're looking for, you can see a person standing in the distance. The basket is a little bit to the left of that individual. Um, there is a clearing here, and Alex is thrown up and above the clearing on that right-hand hyzer line. I'm up top, but it's... You go along, you're going to have a death putt. Yeah, you'll be looking back down at that hill that you're throwing up right now. It's almost better to just leave yourself a little short on that hill and just make a little uphill. As Alex just explained where the hole was. Yeah, and here's Kale's attempt. A little right hand back hand, Spike Kaiser. Uh, he put a good move on that. His card makes like, like it. Noah's thrown high with a nice hyzer line. Every year it seems like that bush on the left keeps getting bigger and bigger. Oh, All those branches no keep that growing out coming. further. Yeah, it has become more difficult over the years as it, the center brush. It makes you hang up. it out wider. And um, Noah throws a great line. If you do hang it out too wide, you can get uh, those other trees on the right-hand side into play. There's uh, that death putt I was talking about. Hey, Alex has got a challenging putt here. Oh. He jams it in for bird. He's ha he's happy uh, because the other potential there was to miss and just glide down that hill. Kale's taking his time, kind of surveying the conditions. Uh, you can see he's got wind as a factor, and of course that uh, hill off to his right side. He heard that, but he got it. Good on him. Here's Gavin's attempt at two. Good two for him. And Noah to complete the card. For the star frame. Excellent star birdie. Uh, 10 here is kind of a quick draw. It is a massive 570 foot downhill shot. Alex wasting no time. Alex wasting no time, just launching a disc. Uh, in these conditions, these guys are really trying to keep it in a spot where they can have a look to get up and down once they uh, reach their landing. You get caught up in that wind, you could easily hyzer off the, the edge of the mountain over there, off to yeah. the left, the west side of the property. 
kale is just ripping something moderately stable off to that right side, letting it filter back left. Oh, that is not a bad spot. It's a good shot. Gavin, he's going to rip on something after getting a wind read off kale. Uh, they're going to pull through that right hand backhand line. Uh, that came out hot. He loves it. That's going to trickle in. He's a little concerned about its final resting place for them. It'll be fine. It'll be just fine. Here's Noah. Noah's going with a little more unconventional line. He's throwing a Nova off the tee. And he's going to try to go right at it with a little bit of turn. And right now, if that was a distance driver, it would have been so hyzer off of that left side, it had been gone. But since he threw a putter, this thing's going to probably take about 20 seconds to get it to the ground. <laughs> and people he likes it. love it. Uh, up at the Trophy Lodge there near where they teed off, people were uh, watching and they were spectating. Um, Alex, you know, he's fine with that. Uh, that was kind of a fluff putt. I think if it went in, it went in. If not, he was still going to be close enough for a three. Yeah, this is a tricky green. You can't really tell from the camera angle, but you could get on edge and you could easily roll 50 feet, if not more. Yeah, so Noah going putter-putter for the birdie. Uh, Gavin's close. I mean, he almost aced, probably. He gets this too. That is definitely a bonus deuce. Yeah. Uh, for everyone else that plays this hole, besides these guys, I mean, they're making it look way too easy. Uh, the upshot is a difficult aspect of this hole for people that are, you know, more like the average disc golfer. Uh, these guys just covered both the drive and the upshot in their one shot. Um, but they're coming back looking to get rare twos here. Um, Kale, unfortunately, splashed out on that Mach 5. Um, the three is still good. Um, he's just a little frustrated because he had a two look. And Alex, yeah, uh, two would have been great, but he lead, he left there with a three. Uh, now we're looking at hole 13, downhill, real blind to them. Uh, it moves a little bit left to right, and Gavin threw that forehand. And that's going to be a popular play here. It'll be interesting to see uh, what Kale will do, because he's the only one that really doesn't favor that forehand. Uh, here's Noah throwing a forehand. Just throw it high and get over that wall of trees. Yeah, grab Give yourself your, a look. Grab your meat hook disc. Uh, this one was aced with a Star Max. Keith Warren. Yeah, Keith Warren. Lefty. Lefty with the uh, spike hyzer. Alex throwing a drone there. Discraft. Um, real overstable mid range. That sounds good. Oh, and even Kale with the rare forehand. So you know it's a forehand hole. Oh, oh. His card mate's giving him a hard time throwing a forehand because they know how, how dominant backhand he is. Yeah, he never throws forehand yeah. unless he's forced to or ha or it's intended. The hole's intended to be played that way. <laughs> yeah, and so um, just past where Noah's standing here after Kale laid up, um, it's a significant downhill, and that comes into play on the green as well. But it, it's also there for the drive where you can get on that hill and roll forever. Um, Gavin, he's a little bit below the hole, hitting the front of the cage. It, he needs it to sit. Uh, it did lay down, um, but that could have easily just rolled a thousand feet. You know. uh, he'll be leaving with a three, hopefully. Move on to the next hole. And Gavin converts and kills, uh, looking to convert his three as well, which he does. Noah's looking at a three. And Alex was parked. He had the only two on the card uh, with a drive like that. And he'll be bouncing up to the top of the box for our first par four of the round. At least 100 feet. 530 feet. This plays cross hill. Uh, the basket is perched on a ski feature way in the distance. Uh, Alex is going to show us where it's at with his massive flexing forehand. Slants off on all sides around the basket. Very tricky green. Alex is going to try to, or 
Gavin's going to try to follow Alex's line. Uh, he didn't get the turnaround that he wanted with that forehand. And that's fine. He's still above the hole. Come on. It looks like he's getting some favorable roll. Getting a little roll back towards the towards the next tee. Yeah, that was rolling longer than it was in the air. Here's Noah. It would be interesting to see what he's reaching for here. I know it's not that Nova, but um, he could probably make it work. Just go, Just the yeah. those it's going to be a tricky up shot from, from over there. Shooting down at the basket with the hill behind it. Yeah. And Kale rounding out the card with his backhand. Hopefully putting a little bit of flex on this and just letting it kind of peel towards the basket. And he threw Pierre Heiser, actually. Go. 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 Get and that's going to end up below the hole. Oh, no way. And that's, Ooh. that's tricky. Unfortunate ground ground play on that hole, or on that shot. And he's throwing way uphill. Um, you know, he's we're playing par four here, so you can take two shots to get up and down. Um, but, you know, he certainly still wants that three. So we'll see if he gets aggressive. Uh, you can start to see the character of this green, and it is a beast. Gives it a chance. Gives it a chance. Yeah, he's got he's got an opportunity to still bang a putt. Um, you know, he was going full pump there. That was way uphill. Noah just trying to finesse. Nice putt touch. Up there, and that was that was that Nova. Noah just laying it right there. Not scared to pull for that. Gavin playing smart golf. Leave it up top. Get your birdie. Uh, Geisinger in the same fashion. Uh, he knew that a three was an opportunity there. And, you know, he's really pushing for that win. And um, he saw an opportunity with Kale being long and able to get a stroke on him. And so the layup there was more enticing than the eagle, too. Let's see if Kale can convert and keep Alex at bay. And uh, sadly chained up. Oh, no. And Gavin rushed that. Um, Might have got a little wind as well. Yeah. You don't like to see that. No, that's, that's frustrating. Yeah, looks quick tapping out for a birdie there. And Gavin picking up. Throwing quickly. Um, and it just shows what this green can do to a person. It's getting that wind dynamic. you got the roll dynamic. Yeah, sad to see. Here's Noah tapping out for his easy three. Birdie three. Yeah, he played that textbook. Uh, and he didn't really throw that great of a drive. And we move on to the next hole. And I believe we'll have uh, Alex up top again, uh, showing us the way at this way downhill, 525 foot. And a roll towards the basket. He likes that. We got OB long on that road, and uh, that's probably factoring in because these guys can throw discs a mile. And downhill, they can really bring that into play. Noah's playing the safe hyzer, letting it filter back. Maybe played it a bit safe. Uh, but, you know, he's a talented putter. He could still make that happen. This is looking nice. Yeah, it's got great shape. Got kind of a weird ground bounce at the end and turned away from the basket, but he was close. Here's Gavin kind of quick pulling it. Most people like to use the end of that tow rope as a guide. You just you throw it right around that corner of that, nice and tight to it, and good things happen. And here we have Noah looking for that two. Um, that OB is certainly in the back of his mind. Um, left it high, fluff butt. Um, 
you know, he's happy with a three. He didn't show it in his mannerisms, but um, Gavin may be looking to do that same fashion in that fluff putt. Let's see if Alex can pick up this two. Asking the group if he's outside circle one. Uh, I believe that they gave him the nod that it is. And now he's just checking wind and what um, what his putt might do once it comes out of his hand. Wow. Very nice. That's a great putt. I, I'd imagine, you know... Yeah, it might be a stroke on the card, but it could almost be a stroke on the majority of the field. Uh, we'll see if Kale can... Now can Kale needs us, to convert on this one. Yeah, show us that he can also birdie this hole. No, but it, it is challenging, too, and that OB adds a little bit to it, too. Oh! Sadly, uh, Kale uh, chained out there. We've seen a few of those by Kale today. Yeah, he's just not getting those breaks, and um, you know when all those drop, you have the best round of your life. Uh, but you know they don't always drop, and that's just the luck of the draw. Everyone else tapping out for three. Uh, Alex is holding the top of that box nicely on this 525-foot par four downhill, uh, across hill rather. Um, you know these guys are elite level distance. Alex is going to show us how hard he can throw a disc, and the the basket is way up there. And Alex plays it in some degree how you want to. I mean, you want to reach that knuckle, and he did. Get up on that flat spot. Yeah, You're going to leave yourself with a better second shot run up. Here's Noah with the James Conrad run up. He was charging this. He made the knuckle. And he's he's up the on the flats step. as well. Uh, Kale's looking to match all those distances. He's got a good turn, but he's going right at the crowd on that left side. And he'll be able to get up and down from there, likely. Oh, that's Hold Gavin it. Hold it. gave a lot of height on this. Good speed. Yeah, it's got that nice turn, and it's going, coming man. back around on the hyzer now. Yeah. So here's Kale doing a little crowd control. Um, you can see the basket. He's got probably 200 feet left uphill. Maybe 175. Ooh. And he could almost throw that in for two. Uh, eagle team. Uh, Gavin's there with a safe three. And here's Alex's second shot. And there's... Kale's 33 for 33. Kale. Uh, Noah is looking for the same. 33, Alex the same. 33, and... Having the same, so uh, you know we've done this a couple times this round. A nice star birdie, and uh, these guys, you know, they're showing why they're on the lead card. Now we're moving on to the 370 foot downhill with Ob Long on that back corner, left side. Um, at this point, you know Alex is cruising yeah he's cruising he's made his presence known he's scoring well and um, now he's kind of got kale on the defense a bit and so Alex knows that yeah I can play for the birdie here uh, but I can also play safe and keep it out of that OB here's Noah playing that nice right hand backhand hyzer crash around that little mini excavator and he's right up in the basket in those trees there This is uh, Kale. Throwing something kind of directly at the basket. Putting everything he's got into this one. He needs this. Oh! And that's goosebumps material. Oh, man. Uh, Kale just rammed it right off the top of the basket. He's that in front of that gallery. And yeah. Got everyone uh, standing there watching the turn. All the other cards man. are in. And uh, Kale skipped it off the top of the basket and hit the trunk of that tree. Uh oh. And, um, a little too long. Sadly, Gavin just left it out and went OB into the water. Uh, here we have Alex standing on a little sand dune. Um, you know, his didn't get the carry that he wanted for that two look, but he could still maybe get a bonus birdie. Yeah. 
And he's fine with that. He drew metal from a long ways out. See how far... Uh, well, Gavin's going to take a drop here. Yeah, Gavin couldn't make this putt to save his um, circle three. Uh, but he splashed out, and now he's looking at circle four at best. Uh, Kale, after that amazing drive and hitting the tree trunk after skipping off the basket. Sat pretty well. Yeah. Sat pretty well. He Fortunate. He got the best of both worlds there. Uh, he wants that, too, um, because he knows he can get a stroke back on Alex. Yeah, he does. And, you know, anything can happen in this final hole. Uh, the one that you can see coming up behind us with the OB, uh, you could go long, um, then you could be a natural OB, you could go short, be in the water. So um, there's some gamesmanship here in these last few holes, and these grizzled veterans and Kale and Alex, you know, they're really showing their, um, showing their um, game plan. And Gavin is splashing out. Gavin he's might have rushed that a little yeah, bit. He, rushed it. He's getting maybe he just wants this round to be over with. He's done playing and no taps in. Alex is going to get his three. So Gavin's out with the double bogey uh, with a penalty stroke in there and we're on to our final hole 225 feet across water and you can see the basket there perched up on that berm for the pond uh, beyond the basket is a really tricky wood line so you know I think Noah he might be throwing his Nova right at this basket uh, but you know I don't know his bag well enough he's got to get it up looks like that's pretty stable that's um, that went good shot yeah, he'll be maybe looking for a two hopefully So Kale with that birdie gets a lead off before Alex, and you now Alex can kind of react to what Kale does. You know, Alex is going for that nice forehand hyzer line, hoping to hit that bank, and he misses it sadly. So he went long. There's Gavin, maybe trying to put on a show for the crowd, throwing it right at it. Oh, didn't get the win that he wanted, but that had a great line. And I think we're seeing Gavin now coming out of the woods. There's that tree line you were talking about. Yeah, and he Don't drew metal, do it. look at this. Don't that roll oh. would be. That's the risk you take with this that must, shot. This must be Alex here. He also went long. Um, you know, he's in the driver's seat. This now, is so. Noah. No, this is Noah rather. Yeah, there's Alex sitting in the background. Noah. Alex, Alex is just gonna pitch seat, up. Just pitching up. He know he has the lead. He's just uh look at he's rejoicing back there. He's yeah. all happy. <laughs> he loves coming up to Lake Superior Open up to Montalac. Kale's trying to hold too, um, you know, because every every step along the way between one, two, and three is a couple hundred dollars, and um, that's in the back of everyone's mind. Uh, Noah taps out, gets his par. Sadly, uh, yeah, sadly, Gavin, you know, had that roll out, and uh, he's bouncing back after a bogey, uh, a bogey stroke. That was a rough round. Pretty roller coastery for uh, for yeah. Gavin, up Had and some down. Great shots, but you can't forget about the bad ones either. Well, and there's your champ, there's Alex your champ. Geisinger, Team Discraft. Played a great tournament, um, and you know he kind of came from behind in that last in that last round, shooting a 10.45 rated um, 44 on this par 56. Uh, congratulations to Alex. Uh, Kale played a great round as well. Two-stroke victory over Kale. Well, Bart, thanks for helping out with the commentary. I appreciate the opportunity, Logger. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.